I'm going to be working on the press today. I need to get my valve put up in a better location for this thing. If you haven't seen the first couple videos on this, then I'll probably link them in the end screen. Maybe I'll remember to put them in the description below too. And in case you don't know what this machine is for, I squish pipe instead of make saddle cuts when I'm building corral because it saves me a whole lot of time. I'm continuing the live hydraulic press build here. And right now I've got this thing set up on the corner of my welding truck like this. A little overview of my welding truck there in case you're not familiar with it. I don't show it in too many videos. And one of the things that's a little difficult to do is run the valve. It's not bad. If I stand here, put a block on the bed, run the pipe in, pretty easy to reach over and grab the valve. Me standing here, not a problem. But I'd like it to be a little more convenient than that. So I'm going to put the valve right up here. And I had an idea on how to do that. It'd be really simple. I just mounted this plate to the side of my truck real quick with the intention of not having it there very long. I used to have this press set up in my welding trailer and this plate would hold the valve up on the wall of the trailer. And then I'm just going to put the valve up here and I plan to use a piece of angle iron to hold it there. And I think I can just drill and tap a couple holes here in the side and put in a couple bolts. So close to making it all the way through. <sighs> well, change blade. Quick little side note, since my last video was the build of this welding table, I guess you'd call it a build. <laughs> anyway, uh, I am loving this table. I'm definitely heading in the right path with this. This has been a very, very handy table. I have just used it non-stop since I built it. But it works way better than just a welding table too, because right now I'm working over here and I can set stuff behind me. You know, I've also got it setting over here by the lathe. So I'm working at the lathe, I can set stuff on it too, so. It's handy just as a workbench and a welding table and whatever. Really enjoying it. Have the right size transfer punch in there. Got my brass hammer. Let's go transfer. Uh, I'm gonna drill and tap these for a 3 8 uh, coarse thread bolt. I think two 3 8 bolts should be fine up there to hold that all. I don't know, I thought about putting half in there, but it seemed like a little bit overkill. I don't know. Of course, nothing ever built too strong ever broke, right? Alright, this is not going to be convenient. I have to move this thing. I don't know if I can do this accurate enough here or not.
bottomed out. Sweet. Well, that worked awesome. All right. Sweet day and good here. I also really want to figure out how to get this press off the top of the bed up here. Yeah, it takes up a lot of room if I gotta pick something up or whatever. It can be in the way, but I don't know where to put it. I've been thinking about making a little possum right here, cut down into the bed, you know, and having it fold into there somehow, and then fold out. But I haven't quite figured that out yet either. But I can dream. The big reason for bolting this mount on there instead of just welding in place is I would actually like to get an electric solenoid valve for this press. And so what I'm thinking about doing is actually putting it on the power pack. That way I just have the two hoses running from the power pack to the press. That would also allow me just to plug in other things too. And then I could just get a wireless remote and run that solenoid. And that'd be less weight here on the press and being a wireless remote like that I think it would just be really, really nice. So I may not have a valve up there on the press, is what I'm saying. Don't know. We'll see how that all goes, but I think it'd be handy to have it that way. There's also times when I'm doing like a big shaft and a big pulley, and trying to, you know, push the pulley off the shaft. That would be really nice not having to be right there at the press. I could be at the other end of the shaft or something. And having that wireless remote would be really nice. Plus, if I ever need to, and I have in the past, so I'm sure it'll happen again, but if I ever need to remove a pulley, say, off of a combine or a baler, you know, on the implement, I could swing this thing out there with my crane and position this thing and run that wireless remote and, you know, get pressure on it and get everything all lined up. It would make life a lot easier that way. Who knows what we'll do next with this press. I really want to tear this thing apart and sandblast it and paint it, but... Since it's rainy and the humidity is high today, I'm not going to do it today. Uh, so who knows when I'm going to get to it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Are you hiding in the basement because the thunder is scary? <laughs> <laughs>